Hi everybody, today's video is about parabolas and our goal here will be to identify the focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry from the equation of a parabola, graphing and writing equations. So there's going to be a lot here that's brand new, um, but the most importantly are these vocabulary words. So a parabola is a set of all points that are equidistant from a given point which we call the focus and a given line called the directrix. So you have this point, which is a focus, and a line that is the directrix. Well, every point on a parabola is equidistant from both, so the, the distance would be the same. So that's how we define a parabola with a focus and directrix. And not in this uh, particular lesson, but in the future you'll be able to do a lot of really cool applications um, with the focus, you know, like a satellite dish or um, any sort of lens that's in a shape of a parabola, um, they all come together at the focus. So um, there are a lot of cool applications. But as far as we're concerned, we have two different uh, formulas that we look at for parabola. So I have y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. And this type of parabola is um, in the y direction because it's y squared. So it's going to open left and right. But we also have parabolas that we're more used to seeing that have an x squared, so they're in the x direction. So x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. These are the ones that we're used to that open up and down. And these are the ones that we're going to focus on this video because it's just an introduction. In the future you'll, you'll pay more um, attention to the parabolas that would open left and right. So we have this equation. Our vertex is hk and p is the distance to focus and directrix from the vertex. And that's very, very important. That's why we're going to do it right again. So instead of a, I want you to just cross it out and press uh, write p. P is really important because it tells us the distance from the vertex to the focus and directrix. All right, that's how important it is. We wrote it down twice, all right? That P value is super, super important. So let's do an example so you guys can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. So when you're given an equation, the first thing I need you to do is make sure that the squared term is alone, all right? So sometimes, you know, like when we're graphing, we have to solve a little bit before we start. So we need that square term to be by itself, which in part A it is, so that's good. So you'll notice that I don't have any numbers with x or being added or subtracted, and that's because my vertex is at zero, zero, right? We don't really write y minus zero and x minus zero squared, but you certainly could. Um, so that means that the vertex is at zero, zero. So I'm going to plot that point. Now I need to figure out where the focus and where the directrix go. But first I have to figure out how far away they are. So I have this 20, and that's very important because that's my number that is equal to 4p, right? Because in our original formula we have this 4p, and that's just the definition and that's the rule, so I have to set this number equal to it, so I get p equals 5. So I know that my focus and my directrix are 5 units away from the vertex. So this is a positive 20, right, which means this is going to open up. So my focus needs to be up, and my parabola always opens around the focus. It's almost like that's a fish inside the bowl, all right? And that's always true. Your focus is inside the parabola, and it is five units away. So that coordinate there is at zero, five, right? If we were to plot the point at zero, five, and then our directrix is also five units away. So one, two, three, four, five, all right? So that's a horizontal line at y equals negative five. And our axis of symmetry, right, is where we cut our parabola in half, 
So that is at x equals zero. I also like to think of this bowl, right, my fish bowl with the fish inside, it has to be sitting on top of the table. So I imagine that my directrix line is a table and my parabola is on top of it. So that's how you do um, a graphing problem. So let's do another one, but we actually need to change it because this one doesn't work out so nicely. So I want you to change it to negative 1 over 16 x squared equals y. All right, so take a second to cross out that problem, write the new one. And remember that our squared term needs to be alone. So this x squared needs to be alone. So I need to multiply both sides by negative 16. So I get x squared equals negative 16y. So just like the last one, right, we don't ever write out like plus or minus zero. So my vertex is at zero, zero. So I always plot that first. Then I need to figure out how far away my focus and directrix are. So again, it's always 4p, and that's going to equal negative 16 this time, right? The numbers change, but we're the same process. So p is negative 4. And you'll notice that p is negative because the 16 is negative, which means it opens down. So my focus needs to be 4 units away, 1, 2, 3, 4. So my parabola opens down. And again, our focus is always inside the parabola. So that point is 0, negative 4. Then I have my directrix, that's also 4 units away. So count in the other direction, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have a horizontal line at y equals 4. And then lastly, that axis of symmetry is where we would cut our parabola in half at x equals 0. So there's two examples on how to graph. Again, make sure your squared term is alone. Find the vertex, which is 0, 0 for both of these. And then I need to find p. All right, that's super important because I need to know how far away to count. Like you're literally, it's amazing, you're just counting to figure out the focus and the directrix. Okay, so now we're going to go backwards because this says now that we've graphed parabolas, let's write the equation. So let's remember that the general equation is x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. All right, that's our general formula where we want to plug in numbers in for h, p, and k. So we're going to use the graph. So for part a, we need my vertex, we need p, and I need to know is it opening up or down? All right, so there are the three questions that you need. So let's, when you have your parabola, I have my vertex here at zero, zero. Now, remember, P is the distance from the vertex to the directrix. So that's one, two, three. So P is three, and this is opening down. So I'm gonna use this information to plug into this formula so I can get my general equation. So this is going to be x minus 0 squared equals. Now it's down, so it has to be negative 4 times 3 times y minus 0. All right, that's p. 3 is p, and it's negative because it's opening down. So let's clean that up a bit. That's x squared equals negative 12y. Okay, again, you're looking for those three very important things. And it's always best if you have a graph to start with. So let's look at number B, or letter B, excuse me. We're going to change this to 0, comma, 1 half, and y equals negative 1 half. Now I don't have a graph. Um, I only have the focus and the directrix, which is good. I need that stuff, um, but it's always best to graph it first. So I'm going to graph this. My focus is at 1 half, 0, 1 half, and my directrix is negative 1 half. But again, just like the last one, I need the vertex, I need P, I need to know which way it opens. Now you're asking, where's the vertex? Well, they did not give it to us. So we have to think about that the vertex is the same distance from the focus and the direction. So it has to be in 
the middle. So the middle between the focus and directrix is at zero, right? We went plus one half and minus one half. So my vertex is at zero, zero. And P is one half because again, we went up a half and down a half and they have to be the same distance away. So since the focus is up top and it has to be inside my parabola, my parabola is opening up. So I can use that information to write the equation. So x minus zero squared equals a positive four because it's opening up times one half times y minus zero. So x squared equals two times y after we clean it up and make it all nice and pretty. So that's how you write the equation. So again, vertex, P, and which way it opens is the information that you need to write the equation. So lastly, um, we have transformations. Yay, they're our favorite. Um, so we're going to figure out what happens to a standard um, equation with a vertex at 0, 0, and P equal to 1. So what I want you to do is I want you to try this. Because we've done transformations already um, in a previous unit, I want you to do that. But also remember, I want the squared term alone first. So hint, hint, I need that x minus 3 squared by itself before I can talk about those transformations. All right, and we'll go over that when we get um, together. But make sure you have something written down, you've thought about it, and you've tried it. See you later.